what is up you guys welcome back to another video it's been a good couple of months probably half a year since i've filmed anything regarding the race car or any form of motorsport or i or youtube in general i haven't i just haven't been on the platform um in a while i've been so busy with work that i just don't have time um to film anymore which is um which is sad because obviously I enjoy the filming and I really love doing it um, along with obviously building the cars and and whatnot so uh, it's currently 12.36 on Sunday um, and I am going to bring you an update in uh, or on my race car um, what we are doing with the race car um, at the moment we I'm here at Gap Motorsport um, I'm building the car here as you can see it's behind me on the left over there um, for today I'm just gonna run you through the car um, I'm going to be adjusting the mounts because we're gonna run a 2 liter 8 valve in class B GTI challenge uh, here in Cape Town um, I'm gonna be adjusting the mounts to fit the motor um, and the box uh, a bit better um, and then I'm also gonna stick the stickers on my car um, but yeah, I just I haven't been on the platform in forever and I'm gonna try on weekends I'm gonna try work on the car and film as often as I used to when I was building the Class C car. The Class C car I did sell. Um, I really enjoyed building that series and doing it on YouTube and uh, you guys gave me really positive feedback towards that um, that series. So I put up a poll not too long ago asking whether I should uh, film um, building the new race car as well and everybody said yes. So that's what I'm going to do now. So some history behind this car. This car is an X Class A GTI Challenge car. It ran the FSI motors um, in, yeah, in Class A, obviously. Um, and now I bought it um, as a body without the motor box. And I'm going to put, and for Class B, it's a 2 liter A file um, set up. So we're busy building that at the moment. Um, and then we're going to run this thing in Class B. Um, so I'm going to run you just through the car, what we've done, and then we'll do the mounts, do the stickers, and then at least it's a small update video for you guys um, just for the time being and then yeah we're going to be building it we're hoping to be on the track not for the 4th of March for the 4th of April we're hoping to be on the track and then we can go from there so yeah if you guys do enjoy this content please like and subscribe and then I'll be posting um, more of it uh, as time goes on as we build this car I didn't want to it was it was uh, small boring things that I, I don't think anyone would have enjoyed to watch that the reasoning behind uh, me not actually filming the car it was like putting windows in and things like that so now that we're getting to the mechanical side of it I want to film uh, a bit more um, so yeah I'm gonna run you through the car now and then we can get into it okay so here is the Polo so it's a Polo 6 um, X Polo Cup car it was obviously a class A car um, it's an X Polo Cup car so it's an ex-polar cup car as shown there by the VIN number from VW Motorsport so yeah this is my soon to be class B GTI Challenge Polo 6 race car um, this is what the inside of the car is currently looking like I have sent my seat I've sent my seat away for um, a recover I've also completely redone all the um, carbon fiber on the or the clear coat on the carbon fiber on the seat just so it looks neat uh, we're trying to do the car as neat as possible um, so things that I've already done is like the door cards are carbon fiber door cards and I and I put them in um, not too long ago but I don't want to film that because it's not interesting it's 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 basically just um, just putting in some nice door cards with some pop rivets make it look a little bit more pleasing to the eye if that makes sense and then it still has obviously the original VW Motorsport dash I don't have my seats in yet um, it's got the surge tanks with the fuel lines and then I will be running a I'll be running a Micron as my dash which will show me my lap time water temp, rev counter, all that type of thing uh, this is obviously the, still the standard steering wheel um, I must still get the race steering wheel um, I've got I've installed the DUU which is the Golf 4 the Golf 4 1.6 um, gear selector um, and shifter and all that stuff um, in this car because we have to run a, uh, it's compulsory to run a rod shift box in class B so we're running the DUU setup um, box then the dictator still in the in the car we're gonna run the 60 minus 2 dictator um, with the trigger wheel obviously um, on the 2D to 8 valve 
um, as you can see and this is a car that i like i really i've always wanted to build a polar six that always just looks so neat um it's got the nice motorsport wing on the car underneath the bonnet there's not much going on here so these polo cup cars or ex polo cup cars they don't run um brake boosters they obviously run the master but no no brake boosters or anything like that so i will get the mounts now and i'll show you exactly what i mean by when we have to to modify all the mounts i'm still clean the engine bay but i first want to um adjust the mount and then i will clean the engine bay and make everything look look pretty so yeah that's basically how the car is currently looking so let me maybe explain this a bit better so these are the mounts that we're gonna have to run uh, sorry everything's a bit overexposed it's quite dark in the engine bay but these are the mounts that we run for that we're gonna have to run for the ticket tape off so these mounts come off this goes on here so the problem is there's a lot of so for class b it's difficult to make weight so what we're going to do is um we're going to cut this lighten it and then also we're going to drill two new holes here and then into the body as support because there's no other holes here we could go i guess into the into um the originally drilled holes but we want to rather do it up here um, so the reason why I want to do that is because when it lands like that, there's no support for the section of it if there's no holes going through. So I'm scared that it might tear along the the, the the bend. So what we're going to do is put that on, cut this along here, make this lighter, drill two new holes, and then put that in, and then see how it sits. So that's what we're going to do for this side of the car. Um, we might be doing it a, a bit different. I might just also just go through these holes into the body here, and then it might um, it might just be a lot easier. Um, so maybe I'll do it like that as well, we'll see as we go through it. And then basically on this side, um, the mount runs like this. So there's a hole here and there's a threaded uh, threaded section here. But the problem is when it goes on the threaded, it will obviously be, this will all be out the way or whatever. But when it goes on the threaded section here, it doesn't, it's a, there's quite a large gap. There's about that much, I would say about a centimeter and a half gap between the actual side of the body. So what I've seen on the other Polo 6s when they do it is they take this hole and they move they move the hole like further upwards. So what I've seen they do on the other Polo 6s is they take this hole and they just slot it uh, inwards and then they cut like they, they actually cut this whole section more so that it moves closer to the body so that's what we're going to do with this one so that it fits over here quite easily. We're going to have to chop it like this, then slot this, so I'll all draw a new one, and then the actual mount will sit against the side of the body uh, flush. So yeah, that's the plan for this side, so we'll see how that goes. Okay, so first things first, here is a picture of how it's meant to look, that you can kind of see. Mine's already dirty, but yeah, that's basically how it's meant to look. Um, so yeah, let's get going. We are all connected. So the whole car has finally finished being stickered. So yeah, this is what it's looking like. Uh, got the wheel work, super cars, G Touch and Spice Maker. Um, yeah, everything's obviously looking fantastic now. So yeah, let's just hope that it remains nice because uh, after the first race, it's probably going to get rubbed off or whatever. But yeah, so far it's actually looking quite nice. What I've basically done now is I've grinded, I've taken off about half a centimeter um, from year to year. So you can see obviously now the bolts. So now I made a white dot there and I'm going to redraw and then um, just uh, trim all um, until that. And then it should fit flush against the side of the body and then the bolt should go through there. Um, I've seen, obviously, like I said, on the other Polo 6s, it's just, uh, it is left open. Like they don't weld it closed or anything like that. So yeah, basically done. Uh, the side engine mount is complete. Um, I just had to, if you can see, um, that's what I was talking about where I had to um, like dremel it there so that it could go further against it and now it's obviously in correctly on each side. Uh, when I lower the car then I'll get it right. I'll show you how it looks so then. And then this is the other side. Um, so basically these two rear ones I'll leave out completely 
and then I'll just keep the two front ones and then this is what I was talking about earlier with the holes so obviously you have to drill a hole and then you can put a, a nut and a bolt through and then over here as well I think I'm just going to do the two center ones so this one and this one um, so yeah uh, this I can also do but yeah for now I think I'm just going to do this one and then this one over there so okay so I've just finished the mount now maybe I can explain better now that's in the car so the, there was a section that went like this and then I saw on one or two actually actually three of the Polo 6's that are already running these mounts have cut it here to save weight because with them and our weight restrictions in Tita Challenge it's um, it's difficult to make weight so they cut this and then they only run these two and then um, I've run it through here and this one here these are were already pre-drilled holes um, so it was perfect because it just bites to the um, to like the the pinch section of the, the chassis rail so I'm like and it's proper thick when I drill through I struggled so yeah, this mount is 100% this thing is not definitely not going to go anywhere um, so yeah I'm very happy about that um, so the, the, the side mounts done that side mounts done also um, side mounts the side mounts also done um, the like I said I had to just trim the back of it so that when it pushes up against the uh, chassis rail then it uh, it's, it's flush because it had about a centimeter to centimeter and a half distance between the chassis rail edge and the um or gap between the actual mount and the chassis rail so i've, I've trimmed the, the back here and then i've slotted the original bolt hole and now i bolted it first down here and then down here and i pulled everything nice and tight so this side mount is now officially done the reason why i've done it like this is because it's just easier to tighten it from the outside than uh, putting the nut on the inside so yeah um i did it like a second oil change around to make it look a bit neater or whatever the case is but this side mount is done that side mount is done um, and that's all that I'm going to basically do on the car now. I'm going to stick the last few stickers on the car and then I will show you what the whole car is looking at. We are all connected. Okay, so we have our front banner, which is the main, obviously, sponsor for the series and we have our Facebook and Instagram for um, just to obviously promote our T-Touch Challenge series on Facebook and Instagram we have the sponsor series again on the bottom front uh, front doors then we have the T-Touch Challenge Racing um, sticker the rear door we have the my name and number on the rear windows we have wheelworks on the rear boot lid Cheaper cars, the bottom of the boot, the WW GTR Challenge on the bumper and then Spice Maker on both front and rear number plates. And then obviously we have exactly the same on this side of the car as well. So yeah, on the front we'd have Hydrocore sticker as well, but the front, I don't know my front bumper at the moment, it's busy getting sprayed, but yeah. So yeah, that will be all for today's video guys. Thank you so much for watching. Um, we got the engine mounts done, we got the stickers done. Uh, you got to see what the car's looking like. Um, we are aiming for the 4th of April race, um, the motor is currently being built, like we're busy building it, the box is currently being built as well, so there should be another video in the next week or two, putting it in the car or whatever. Um, yeah, it's, it's nice being back on YouTube, it's, uh, I feel a bit solid, a bit stiff when I talk to you guys, but um, it's obviously going to come with time and get used to it again. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying uh, like the content and um, yeah, we're going to put a 2 liter 8 valve into a Polo 6 uh, for GTR Challenge Class B. So hopefully if you guys want to do something similar then you can watch uh, my series and then um, you can also let me know if you need mounts or tips or tricks or whatever the case is then you can let me know and I can put you in contact with the guy that I got my mounts from which was up in Joburg. Um, so yeah, thank you guys for watching. If you did like um, the video, please subscribe, share with your friends and family, and then I will see you guys in the next video um, in about a week or two. Uh, but yeah, I'm planning on doing a full series on this car, uh, 2 liter A5 that needs to that needs to make a minimum of I think that's 103 kilowatts to the wheels, which is like 120. 122 somewhere around to the flywheel to the, from a 2D to 8 valve without throttle bodies it needs to be a standard um mp9 system um well not mp9 system it needs to be a standard 
throttle body setup and not a, not a, not individual throttles. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers.